Hello ladies and gentlemen. In this video, I'm just going to show you quickly on how to install Windows 7 onto a hard drive. Um, it's important to note that when you're doing this, uh, please back up all your data. And Windows 7 natively doesn't support USB free through the BIOS. What that means is, if you intend to try and install from a CD, you may have difficulties if you don't have any USB ports that are 2.0 such as the Intel NUC which is only USB 3 ports on the i7 version you will encounter problems so I just want to make that absolutely clear before you do this please make sure you've got two um, mouse and keyboard ports that are USB 2 um, because if you don't uh, you have problems trying to install Windows 7 from a CD because Basically, the BIOS only recognises USB 2. Um, USB 3 is handled through Windows operating system. So, anyway, without further ado, let me show you how to install um, Windows 7, but more importantly, how to install two versions of it. Um, you may be familiar with the compatibility mode in Basically, I'll just show you. Basically, you just go into Start Menu, and you have a program. Uh, let's look at Paint. Um, so you just right-click on Paint, Properties, and it brings up the compatibility mode. And you can basically select various options in there to make it work. Especially, the, there's a drop-down box here. If I just Basically, there's a drop-down box, and you can choose um, for all the way back to 95, up to uh, Vista, um, Windows 2000, NT, Server 2008, um, and various versions and incarnations of Windows 7. Anyway, without further ado, I will show you how to install a second version of Windows 7. I've already installed and changed the hard drive and split it in two so I've got Windows 7 64 bit installed here. I just want to show you guys how to set up two operating systems if you're having problems playing certain games you might want to do this. Um, so without further ado let's do this. So we've got the CD in. When it reboots um, all you have to do is you press a, a button on the keyboard and it should uh, set up the uh, installation there we go just press the spacebar and it's loading up into windows as i mentioned uh, you will need two usb ports that are mouse and keyboard that are usb 2.0 um, unfortunately <coughs> Windows installation CD and BIOS doesn't recognise um, USB 3 ports natively. Um, that's why if you are trying to install it from CD, you may have a problem if you've only got USB 3 ports. <laughs> right, we've arrived at this screen and this is the installation screen so basically for example we're in the UK so we obviously want the language to be English we also need to choose the, the UK uh, version of this not the US version the reason for that is it will uh, be a US keyboard instead of the UK keyboard <coughs> so you just click next and then obviously Depending on what version you've got, I've got one of these special installation CDs. Um, install Windows Activated R2, click on that. And here I'm going to choose which operating system to install. Um, 
If you're wondering what x86 means, that means it's a 32-bit operating system. And then if you're wondering what x64 bit is, uh, 64 sorry, it means 64 bit. So what we're going to do is on a second um, part of the hard drive, which most people call it partitioning, which means basically you're separating one drive into two, although it's still the same drive. Uh, this has the advantage of um, installing multiple operating systems on the same machine. Well, more to the point, on the same hard drive. So, without further ado, we'll click on uh, Windows 7 Home Professional to match the x64 version I've already installed. And click on Next. You need to agree to the terms and install and click Next. And here we want to do a custom advanced installation. Um, you could do an upgrade if you had an older operating system. But here we're going to do a custom one. The reason I wanted to show you guys this is how to modify um, your hard drive. Um, and you can only do it within the installation CD. You can't actually do it um, through if you were to put the CD in while you're in the Windows operating system and do it that way because it doesn't quite work the same way so click install a new copy right I just wanted to show you the, this to you guys this is basically a list of my hard drives and basically this is where you can modify your hard drives you can basically um, delete a partition um, which in effect is formatting the hard drive and deleting everything on it. So what we're going to do is I want what I've already got here is an SSD drive, right? It's 232 gigabytes in size. Now I've split it, so we've got 146 gigabyte here um, where I've put Windows 7 64 bit um, professional on on there. Now, the reason I want to split my hard drive up and have two Windows 7 operating systems is one, because a lot of old games that are 32, 32 bit won't work on the modern um, 64 bit. So that's what we're going to do here. So, what we're going to do is we're going to install Windows 7 32 bit professional on the 35 gigabyte partition. So, what you do is you just click on what you've done there and you um, click next and you can go through the installation process but what I wanted to show you is this advanced install uh, page that allows you to modify your hard drives you see what you can do is you can go into drive options and you can format it obviously and you can delete uh, this has the advantage of basically deleting all your data um, and you can obviously create a new drive. Now I've already done this, but for argument's sake, let's just um, delete the 85.9 gigabyte primary drive. Then it says the partition might contain recovery files, system files, basically it's saying back, make sure you're back to pull your data. And you press OK. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see there, it says this one, unallocated space. So what we've basically done is we've deleted the entire partition, not just the data on the actual drive, we've actually um, deleted the actual section um, that's been set aside um, for that particular amount of space, which is 85.9 gigabyte. So basically what we do is we click on the unallocated space, uh, click on new we decide what we want to do now at this point if you wanted to you could split that hard drive um, 85 gig that we've taken from uh, that 146 um, giving us 232 gigabytes thereabouts what you can do is you could split that up and divide it up into 40 gigs um, and then you'd have another drive that would be 80, uh, 45 gigabytes so basically, in effect, we'd be splitting the same hard drive up three times. Um, 
But I only want to have two different operating systems. You can have multiple. You can have uh, multiple um, partitions. Generally, the system only allows you to do four um, splits of the same hard drive. But you can have Linux on there. You can have Windows 8, 10, 7, you know. Um, and then if you've got other drives, you can have more operating systems on there, like Ubuntu, um, NT, um, even Windows 95 if you wanted. Anyway, um, going back to what we do, what what you do, what we're going to do here is we're going to allocate the entire space. So it says 8,000, um, so 88,000 uh, gigabytes there. But you always lose a few whenever you're doing stuff on your computer. So we just click apply because we're creating a new drive. So it's unallocated space. So hopefully I'm not confusing you too much here. Basically, we've deleted the new drive we set up and we're creating another one in its place. So we just apply. And there you go, it's created the drive. So 85.9 gigabyte is the space we've got to use on that particular drive. As I said, I've already done this previously um, when it was 236 and I split the drives up. So on this one, 146 gigabyte, We've got Windows 7 um, 64 bit running. Um, what I want to do is create the same thing really, except 32 bit. Because the compatibility thing that I showed you earlier on doesn't always work, unfortunately. So, what we're going to do is we're going to click on that drive and click next, and we'll begin the installation process. I just wanted to quickly go through the way of dividing hard drives up into sections um, or partitions uh, as the, the Windows 7 utility says. So we just click next, go through all the installation process um, it's a normal thing such as passwords, internet access, usernames but I just wanted to show you this briefly because this is the absolute sure way if you want to reinstall your operating system uh, to do it from scratch and fresh um, and that's how you install Windows 7 um, basically from CD if, if you're unsure on how to set up your system so it boots up from CD straight away generally you press F2 when your computer comes on and it goes into the BIOS um, each BIOS is slightly different for different motherboards right but basically, if you go into your BIOS settings um, and change your boot priority, um, so it's your CD-ROM that boots up first, um, then any CD you've, you're working off will boot up first, as it gave us the option of pressing um, any key to go into first before going off the hard drive. So I just wanted to show you briefly how you go about dividing your partitions or your hard drive into little pieces really. Um, so I hope that's been helpful and thank you for watching.